Hey everybody, and welcome to another PSPP 1.6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about how to open up data files. And there are a couple of ways to open up data files. And in this one, we're just gonna do the quick and dirty way. And then in the next episode, I'll show you how to do the importing way when you've got uh, a CSV or an Excel file. So for this one, we're just gonna open up SAV files. Uh, SAV files are the file type associated with SPSS. And of course, if you are familiar with PSPP, you know it's the exact opposite of SPSS, PSPP. <laughs> I love it. PSPP. <laughs> I'm 12 years old. All right. So let's go ahead and close this and go up to file. Although you can go up to this little icon here. Okay. This icon and it will be open. Although the tooltip takes a while to pop up and I don't know why it doesn't. Also, I just want to note that this is not your traditional save uh, icon. This is a new, this is a new icon. It looks to me like one of two things. Obviously, the arrow is putting into it, but it also, it looks like a drawer. So that's the handle in white and this drawer. And so you're, you're putting your data on a piece of paper into a drawer to save for later, as opposed to using the floppy disk icon, which has now become a uh, skill morph for saving, right? even though we don't use floppy disks anymore and they can't even hold most of the data files that we use in this. So we've got open, we've got save, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the file menu because the words are there. So we're gonna go to open or command O, control O, if you are on Windows, and it's gonna bring up um, your, essentially a modified version of your file tree. And so this is just a fancy way that the finder window looks on Mac, and it'll be the fancy way that the computer uh, windows open in Windows. Uh, I, I don't really, I don't really use Windows anymore, so I don't know exactly what it's supposed to look like, but for all intents and purposes, this is pretty much what Finder looks like. And there are tool tips for how to get there. Open your personal, open the desktop, open documents. And you can see here, that's my uh, file path to documents, my file path to downloads, uh, file path to movies, music, and pictures, uh, the trash, which is you know, everywhere. Uh, this, I believe, is the root or whatever the, your whatever your Macintosh HD is open. We also have recent up here. And so I'm going to go ahead and open this one. This was a from a study of uh, a collab that I did. This data set is not available online because I'm just showing you how to open it. And it is a .sav, as you can see at the end of the file name. And .sav is purposefully read here as an SPSS data file, which is what we are going to open. Now, you can open both data and syntax files in PSPP. Syntax files for SPSS are .sps, files .sps. We can also only open... Uh, we can open system files, which are .sav, .zsav, portable files, syntax files, as you can see, it's SPS, SPS, and then output files are SPV, which is the out of all of that, or we can choose all files. Now, what I've just noticed here is that just doing this uh, doesn't leave the window open, so you have to hold it down and then hover. You can see the different color blue here is me holding down the, the, uh, the left click button. So we can do all files, output files, syntax files, portable files, .por, system files, and data and syntax files, which are SAV files. So I guess they include uh, SAV as a system file. It's really the data file, right? So uh, you have to hold it down and then choose which one you want to select. Data and syntax files is what we're going to leave it at. The other option here is to go uh, what kind of character encoding. Now, most of the time, you want to leave it at automatically detect. But some other kinds of data files might be in different languages. These are all the languages. Again, you have to hold this down. Otherwise, it's just going to go back to what original or what you had it uh, hovered on. So we got to hold it down. Uh, automatically detect is default. Local encoding is UTF-8, which is typical uh, Latin alphabet and Arabic numerals uh, in our English use system. Okay, But you can use Unicode in any other bit format. So 8, 16, 32, um, BE and LE for 16 and 32 as well. Arabic, which is going to be the Arabic letters and numerals, Armenian, Baltic, and all of these other encoding systems and different ways to actually bring those up. So a lot of them are going to be ISOs uh, and uh, different variations of that. Definitely go with automatically connect, which with whatever system of encoding that you use, of course, I'm going, it's, this is going to be in Unicode UTF-8, which is uh, pretty much what we all use here in the States and any other English speaking countries, to be honest. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a data structure uh, encoding specialist, but that's how, that's how I believe it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this data so you can see what it looks like. Again, you can go to a lot of different places. The cool thing is they have an examples. So in, in Jamovi and Jasp, there are multiple files for different examples in both of them. They're usually in the quote unquote data library in those file trees. But for um, this, this program, you can use the examples folder to pull up different kinds of files. So we have descript, which is a syntax file, as you can see, syntax file for uh, descriptive statistics, grid, for uh, as an additional syntax file. There's a horticulture, hotel, personnel, physiology as data files. Couple of more 
uh, SPS syntax files and then a, a, a another data file called repair and then ttest.sps. And so these are different files that you can use out of the box for uh, various learning and seeing how, especially I'm going to have another video on doing the syntax and I'm going to go ahead and open these to show you what they look like. Oh, I just clicked the sorting. That's fine. Uh, and then um, there are different uh, applications you can get in here if you want to get to different places. And there's also a, uh, oh yes, so this is, yes, th this button here is to get to um, the root hard drive folder. So these are all my root hard drive folders. And some of them are supposed to be hidden, really. Like private? Oh, come on now. But yeah, so that's how you can get there. Uh, that's how you can open up files if you don't have your own. Of course, we do have our own. And I just want to show you what this looks like. So I, uh, and then we'll end the video there. So you click and you find the kinds of files. Again, this is supposed to be a um, SPSS, a free SPSS replacement. So that's kind of what I want to focus on here is that it's going to open, you're going to be opening SAV files most of the time. The different kind of open is for importing. So those are different file types. Here, we're just talking about SPSS files. So we click on open, it's going to open it. Okay, so I had it in variable view and we've got, oops, scroll up here, come on now. We've got uh, 15, 15 items. And of course, I can expand uh, this to show you. It's sub-optimized, I think, for the macOS environment. So it's a little laggy, I think, is what is going on here. Um, but just to show you what this looks like, uh, and when you open it, you get the variable view, you have all of your items, and then in data view, you have all of the data. There you go. And then I can't remember how many cases we had in this. Ooh, boy, it's, it's quite laggy, actually. Uh, definitely not optimized for um, this environment. It may be optimized for the final version, 10.15 of Mac OS X or Mac OS 10, really. Yeah, Ooh, that's rough. Okay, so note, using this app in the Mac OS environment may be less optimized and so you might have a little lag associated with it. So just be aware of that, especially with larger data sets. And then down here, I just want to point out, this is your status bar. So there's no filter, there's no weight, and there's no split. And so that'll tell you, uh, this additional information will tell you how much split you have. And right now the computer is very is struggling very hard to scroll. And so I've, stopped, I've hopefully stopped it from scrolling, but we definitely had more than 96 in here. So there you go. That's how you open a SPSS file in PSPP. Leave your comments, suggestions, questions, and feedback down below. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.